something you might not want to think about, but we have to do it every single year. It is our taxes, and there are a few changes this year. Joining us to talk about all of this is local tax attorney Adam Brewer. Adam, good morning. Good morning. Happy to be here. And you know, okay, I got to ask you, uh, we've heard that some people's tax returns might be less than usual. Can you confirm that? Is that all true? Yeah, unfortunately, it's probably true. Um, I think what we're talking about here is, is parents who last tax season uh, benefited from what's known as the expanded child tax credit. Uh, and unfortunately, that tax credit has expired. Um, and so with that, those larger than usual tax refunds or maybe for some of those taxpayers that usually owe, they owed a little less, uh, that's gone by the wayside. All right, and are there any other big changes when it comes to all these tax rules that people need to know about? Yeah, there's some definitely some changes. Um, you know, one that people were worried about was the 1099K. They used um, they used uh, third party processors like PayPal, uh, Venmo, Cash App, those things. That's actually been delayed till next tax season, so that won't be an issue for this year. Uh, but this year we do have some new stuff. Uh, taxpayers may have just received the 1099 miscellaneous from the Franchise Tax Board here in California, and that's for the middle class tax refunds. Um, so if you got that, that's not going to be taxable for state purposes, but it will be taxable uh, on the federal side. So you want to make sure you report that on your federal income tax return. Okay, and then I have to ask you, if, if you can give me and maybe people at home some tips, because every year I'm always scrambling to make sure I have receipts and all the documents I need. How do I make this process easier for myself? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that question. This is like my passion area here. So what I would say is this, look at your 2021 tax return, use that kind of as your benchmark, because what the trend is, this is ever since the Tax Cut and Jobs Act of 2017, is less taxpayers than ever are really using their itemized deductions. So you can gather all those receipts, you can bring your tax preparer a box of them. There's a good probability that they're not even gonna be used. Um, so I'll give you some examples. In California, we pay a lot of state tax, but that's limited to $10,000. Maybe you have a really expensive home, uh, but now your mortgage interest rate is probably lower than ever, so you're paying less mortgage interest. And then at the same time, they raise the standard deduction. And so all of that put together means less taxpayers than ever are going to use that itemized deduction and less taxpayers than ever really need to put together all those receipts and really have that stressful process when it comes to filing their taxes. All right, Adam, thank you so much for all of that helpful information. I'm sure a lot of people could use that. Appreciate you joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me.